everybody welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech and today we're spotlighting this car here this is a custom 1981 DeLorean DMC 12 that was last owned by Don Steger of DeLorean Auto Center in Garden Grove so this car is currently for sale and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the car we're gonna take it for a test drive this car has a lot of special modifications that have been made to it and we'll quickly detail what those are but as you can see it's got a custom painted front spoiler it also has the side skirts as well with the stainless DeLorean lettering in it the car is really clean it's got uh, really nice wheels on it chrome wheels and there's a little bit of a sort of a green accent on the inside it's kind of hard to pick up on the camera there the wheels and wheels are in really good condition here it's currently got the uh, Cooper Cobras on there right now the proper size 235 60 15s in the rear and you've got uh, Cooper Cobras in the front as well the 195 60 14s it's got a third brake light right there it's got these stainless steel inserts right here on the license plate bezel. It's got a very nice exhaust system. We'll show you the engine here in a little bit. Just to do a quick walk around, it's got this one of these little intake deals on the side right here. You can see the green on the wheels and against the sun, it's a lot better. It's a really sharp looking effect there. These are nice and painted, really shiny and smooth. Brand new seat covers that were just put in. These are actually cup holders right here, old school style. It also has a really cool uh, center console deal where you can open it up right there in the middle. It's actually got a couple of coin holders here that are kind of mounted sideways. I thought that was kind of neat. It is a manual transmission, gray interior, 1981. There's the glove box got the vent covers to improve the AC performance. It's got a really trick uh, battery kill switch right here. So you can use that to kill the battery. Let's see how that looks right there. It's got a Rockford Fosgate sound system with an amp. And you've got a Kenwood head unit. Got a bunch of little bells and whistles in here. So this car has a custom electronic fuel injection system. So it does not have the original mechanical Bosch K-Jet system installed. Okay, so if you were to look over here where the original idle speed ECU would normally be, you have the, the brains for the electronic fuel injection system. And that's right here. So this is a full custom EFI, electronic fuel injection, that was custom made for this car. It's a very fast car. It's got the stock PRV. We're running the electronic fuel injection in there. It's got a MTX subwoofer here. That's an eight inch subwoofer where the cubby hole normally is. Let's have a look under the hood. So this, you can actually mount a battery in here if you wanted to relocate your battery to the front of the vehicle. It's currently where it should be. It's got a CD changer in there. Now the car is sitting kind of low. It's a little lower, but it's basically on the stock suspension. I think the springs might've been changed out. So you can kind of take a look at what that looks like right there. So there's your front suspension. And then you've got your rear suspension over here as well. You might be able to take a look at the exhaust too. It does have adjustable lower suspension links, but it's largely a stock suspension in here. Very clean frame, no corrosion at all. Even the oil pan, it looks like it's been chrome plated here. So you have a stage two engine setup with the stage one exhaust system he's got some 
custom tips here that make for some pretty awesome sound for the car. The exhaust system is very nice. You can even see the coolant pipes have been painted green to sort of match the green accents on the car there. So pretty nice. So let's go ahead and take a look under the, under the engine cover. So one thing you'll notice is that there is no engine cover. The car does have the original engine cover, but because of the custom intake that was made for the engine, it doesn't actually fit. So it's a, sort of a engine cover delete. But as you can see, very clean here. All of that was taken off and you've got the electronic fuel injection that is running the car here. Uh, everything else is fairly stock, fairly, uh, what you would expect from a PRV. He does have some chrome plated rocker covers here. The W pipe has been chrome plated. You've got uh, chrome plating in here as well. Now the really cool thing is this custom air cleaner box and intake too that you've got that runs the side right here. Okay, um, you've got a stainless steel ignition coil cover. Okay, here's another look at the dual exhaust that we've got here, the dual headers. So you've got the dual cats from the stage one exhaust system. Again, this is a stage two car, so it does have the upgraded cams and the heads have been ported and polished for the stage two engine upgrade. It's been upgraded to R134A for the refrigerant here in the AC system. Stainless steel coolant bottle. Well, here's one thing I didn't notice is that I had the DMC louver support, and that's also been painted in green as well. So there is a little bit of some paint that has come off here in the front, but for the most part, the rest of the fascias are flawless. There's a little bit of paint chipping right here as well. But there's no body damage to the car at all, if you'll take a look at it. Doors work great too. They close awesome. Very easy to close. All of the glass is intact. There's no cracked glass at all here. This looks like a convex mirror right there. That's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and start it up. So we're gonna go ahead and start this car up. This car sounds really awesome. So let's uh, have a listen. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the car up, take it for a little test drive and show you guys basically how it runs. I've never driven this car before, so it'll be very interesting to find out how it drives, how fast it is compared to all the other DeLoreans I've driven. So let's go ahead and start it up. Whoa, sounds 
Sounds good. <laughs> You know, it's the things like that, like I always try to get out of the sun because I'm bald. But I always forget about the kids. <laughs> But let's see how fast this car, this car is. Ooh. Nice. It's got some power, that's for sure. So it feels pretty good. I mean, the shifting is nice. It's got some kick. Definitely has some kick to it. Power steering. Well, there's enough power steering, but the steering is definitely better than mine, that's for sure. It almost feels like it has power steering to it because uh, it's very effortless as far as the steering goes. I mean, you'd have my steering rack looked at, I think. Woo! Well, this is fun. <laughs> wow. This is a car, man. This is definitely a car. This is an engine, man. Wow. Woohoo! This thing has some acceleration. I'll give, I'll give you that much. Wow. Jesus. Okay. This is very nice. <laughs> oh man, very nice. This is definitely a fun drive, I'll tell you that much. Wow. So yeah, I, I gotta say, this car drives really nice. It's fast, it's, it's loud. Let's put it in second. Oh my God, that's awesome. It feels great. So we're going here in the street a little bit. feels really good. I mean, it actually feels like I've got way more control over the steering. Way more control. Let's go down the street here.
a winner. I don't know what he did to this car. I know it's got the stage two, but man, this thing really is fast. The drive's awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All right, so I can tell you right now, this car is extremely fast, rides really nice. Overall, this is a pretty awesome car. If you're interested in purchasing this car, the owner's currently asking for $60,000 for this car, which actually is really not that bad considering the pricing of DeLoreans right now. And you've got a full custom engine. And obviously, if one of the faster DeLoreans out there right now, it's got the stage two engine. It's got the electronic fuel injection and it's got a lot of other stuff to it as well. If you look under here, I just noticed it's got some custom kick panel speakers as well here. Uh, it's got a rock and audio system, obviously. So let's go ahead and listen to this sound system here. So it sounds pretty good. The uh, stereo system seems to be working pretty good too. It's got a remote control here. It's got a CD changer in the trunk. It's got the Kenwood uh, head unit here. It's got subwoofer. So it, uh, it's definitely rocking. So here's your opportunity to own a little bit of history here and a pretty badass car. Definitely worthy of a Revan at 11 video. Heck, it's even got green <laughs> footwell lighting in there, I just noticed. So if you are interested in this car, we're gonna go ahead and drop a link down in the description for the listing of the car so you can go ahead and express interest in it. You can look at more details of the car, more photographs. We did want to make this video so you can actually sort of experience what this DeLorean is all about. I definitely would think that the photographs would not do it justice alone. You really need to see how this car drives, how it sounds, how it rides, how it handles. It handles awesome, by the way. Uh, I've, you know, I've driven many DeLoreans. I've never driven a DeLorean quite like this one. All right, everybody. So that's the video. And once again, thanks for watching.